let me tell you about Jesus, so that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. Now it was just before the Passover festival and Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. The evening meal was in progress and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. And Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God. So he got up from the meal took off his outer clothing and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them with the towel that was wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? And Jesus replied, you do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. And Peter said, no, you shall never wash my feet. And Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. And Simon Peter replied, then Lord, not just my feet, but my hands and my head as well. And Jesus answered, those who have had a bath need only wash their feet. Their whole body is clean and you are clean, though not every one of you. For Jesus knew who was going to betray him. And that was why he said not everyone was clean. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place. And he asked them, do you understand what I have done for you? You call me teacher and Lord and rightly so, for that is what I am. Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. No servant is greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Now that you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. And Jesus continued, I am not referring to all of you. I know those who I have chosen, but this is to fulfill this passage of scripture. He who shared my bread has turned against me. I'm telling you now before it happens so that when it does happen, you will believe that I am who I am. Whoever accepts anyone I send accepts me, and whoever accepts me accepts the one who sent me. After he had said this, he was troubled in his spirit and testified, one of you is going to betray me. His disciples stared at one another at a loss to which one of them he meant. One of them, the disciple whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter motioned to this disciple and said, ask him which one he means. So leaning back against Jesus, he asked, Lord, who is it? And Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Then dipping it in the pe this piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, what you're about to do, do it quickly. But no one at the meal understood why Jesus had said this to him. Since Judas had charge of the money, some thought Jesus was telling him to buy what was needed for the festival or to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the bread, he went out into the night. And when he was gone, Jesus said, now the son of man is glorified and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children, I will no longer be with you only a little while. You will look for me and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I'm going, you cannot come. Then he gave them a new command saying, love one another as I have loved you so that you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, where I'm going, you cannot follow now, but you will follow later. And Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Then Jesus answered, will you really lay down your life for me? Before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And Jesus went on to say, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, 
believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, I would have told you that I'm going to a place, would I have told you that I'm going to a place to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me so that you may also be where I am. You know the way to where, to the place where I am going. But Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said, Lord, show us the Father and that will be enough for us. And Jesus answered, don't you know me, Philip? Even after I've been with among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I, that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me? The words I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me who is doing his work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. Whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me for anything in my name, and I will do it. And Jesus continued, If you love me, keep my commands and I will ask the Father and he will give you another advocate to help you and will be with you forever the spirit of truth the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you I will not leave you as orphans I will come to you before long the world will not see me anymore but you will see me because I live and you also will live on that day you will realise that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father and I too will love them and show myself to them. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord, why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, Anyone who loves me will obey my teaching. My Father will love them and we will come to them and make our home with them. Anyone who does not love me will not obey my teaching. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as to as the world gives do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid and Jesus went on to say you heard me say I am going away and I am coming back to you if you love me you would be glad that I am going to the father for the father is greater than I I have told you now before it happens so that when it does happen you will believe I will not say much more to you for the prince of this world is coming he has no hold over me, but he comes so that the world may learn that I love the Father and do exactly what the Father has commanded me. Come now, let us leave.